Hey guys, it's Jessica. <sighs> How was everybody's Monday? I am just making sure I am live and I am, yay! And I know I'm coming in a little earlier as I have been lately. Try not to be doing crazy late at night um, lives. Uh, oops. Okay. Wow. Okay. Hello, Colleen. Hi, Donna. Hi, Beth. Hi, Christina. There we go. Okay. Stuart is pinned. So, tonight I had an idea. I was like kind of looking around to see what I haven't used in a while as a can uh, as as a canvas, so no pun intended here. Um, but tonight, I'm gonna utilize a canvas that I painted. And I have this really nice soft gray color that I painted it. So, um, I wanted to use that. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. So, I also have Elephant, which I'm praying I have enough of this. Periwinkle and the beautiful new Nantucket. Those are the colors I'm going to use for this. Okay. Now I'm hoping. Oops, hold on. Let me keep scrolling. Someone. Oh my goodness, we had a few more people come in. Hi Cassandra. Hi Moji. Hi Amy. Hello Cassandra. Um. So those were the colors I was thinking of to put on this, right? And then if this live doesn't drag on for nine thousand hours. I was thinking of putting some random leaves down along the bottom, okay? Because y'all know I love my fall leaves. I just love them. Or I could use some for real leaves since this is canvas, like the leaves that I put inside my shadow box here, okay? I still have some of them left, <coughs> but I'm thinking the colors that I have there are not going to necessarily match the colors that I would put in my leaves. Hi, Tammy. So, hi, Sherry. Hello. So, the reason, let me explain what my reason my reasons are tonight of using the elephant. Because I want the grateful to be seen, but kind of very subtle. But like for people to know that it's there. So I thought the elephant would be the closest that I have to match my already painted canvas. Like I already painted it. And then I thought because, well, I'm obsessed with the Nantucket and I thought... These three colors really would look good together. Okay, so the Nantucket, the Periwinkle, and the Elephant. So that's my thought that I'm gonna do the Nantucket and the Periwinkle over it. Hi, Chris. Why not both? I am gonna use both. <laughs> hey, I need to talk to you later on about the stand you're using. I bought one, I need help with it. Okay, hi, Jess. Hi, Amy. Hi, Lisa. So, before I go any further, as per usual, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device has a share button, guys. I would love it if you'd share my video. Hi, Kayla. And like I said, the my store is pinned in the comments down below. So I think, I'm thinking this is gonna, I think it's gonna look pretty. And I'm hoping that if maybe I stick with the kind of the same color palette, but maybe mix them with the leaves, I don't know. I'm really not sure. I just know that I already have gray and I wanted something a little more subtle. I've been using the same colors for everything for Halloween, uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving. And this is not something I necessarily want to use for Thanksgiving. This might be something I want to keep out all year round. So I don't want it to be just the typical colors. So with that said, do I want to actually do leaves? I might just want to find something that's got a cute little design at the bottom. So we're going to look through the stuff. Hi, Billy. Hi, Betty. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Susan Tapley. So, um, yeah, so that's, let's get this part done first, then we'll figure out about the designs around, okay? So let's go ahead and get the elephant. Oh, no. Just didn't open this first. Oh, I may not have enough. Yep, I definitely don't think I have enough. I mean, I might be able to scrape together. Oh, boo-hoo. Guess what I need to order. I need to order elephants. Let's see what happens if I add a little water. Hi, Jen. Feathers could work. 
Boho, don't have boho flowers. Sherry, I am not a flower girl. Um, believe it or not, I do not like flowers at all. So I did not buy them. Flowers are just not my thing. They really aren't. I know. Crazy, right? Like, every girl loves flowers. Not me. So, that's probably not going to happen. But we're going to see. Whoops, and I'm getting water splotches on here. We're going to see. Hi, Amy. Or, hi, Jennifer, rather. Fancy frames would work. Feathers, yep. Okay, fancy frames would make a classy addition for any season. Absolutely. And guess what? Did not get mine yet. So, maybe what I'll do is I'll hold off until I get that. Hi, Debbie. I hear you. Same here. Yes. I might hold off until I get them to add it, but we'll see. I might do feather, definitely could work. Or I know I have some really cute, like, um, little add-ons in, I believe, chore chart. So, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started, huh, guys? So I've obviously already used the Grateful, so I've already put back on the back of my transfer. The reason we put back on the back of the transfers before we pull it is because our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. So, with that said... You want to make sure that when you have the back, you have a glossy side, which you're not going to be able to see too well on my phone, um, but the side that is the glossy that does not have back is what, how you're going to replace your transfer after you're done cleaning it. Now, as I've said before on many of videos, when I have a larger transfer, so I am not distorting my transfer itself, I always peel the carrier sheet away from the transfer. That way I'm not like taking the transfer's integrity, if you will. Um, I'm keeping it, it's not being stretched, it's not gonna stick to itself. So that's why I do that. Now, let's go ahead and get this laid down. Like, I really kinda want it in the center. If it's not 100% in the center, I'm not gonna have a freak out. It'll be just fun. Definitely looks a little too far down. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, now let's just make sure that we don't have any bubbles. Okay, and I don't think I do. What did I do with the stuff? Boop, ba doop, boop. There it is. Okay, so our chalk paste. We want to make sure we stir our chalk paste up so it's a nice yogurt like consistency. Now, my elephant was kind of the very bottom of the barrel, so I had to add some water to it. Um, so sometimes you just got to add a little bit. Add like a quarter of a teaspoon at a time. You can always add, you can't take out, okay? So what I'm going to do is, because I am very bottom of the barrel with my elephant here, I'm just going to kind of spread it out as best I can with my little scooper. And then I'm going to take my large angled squeegee, and I'm hoping because I don't have anything underneath my transfer, um, I didn't think to put a cloth or anything or something to support it. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me because I don't wanna ruin this with the little bit of elephant I have left. I'll be so bummed. So, hey Bugs, can you lower that a little bit? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna smooth the color all along we don't want to go all along the teal part of the transfer we only want to go on the silk screen area our transfers are silk screen material so we want to make sure we move swiftly so that way our silk screen does not clog because if it clogs that means the chalk paste is going to sit on top of that and it won't go through to our canvas or whatever you happen to be working with i no pun intended am actually working with canvas right so, I'm trying to move as quickly as possible, making sure I covered all of the silk screen area, using my angled squeegee to pull all my color around, okay? Now, um, I could have sworn it's really just felt like someone was walking right behind me. That was the craziest thing just now. Um, you want to make sure you get all your excess off and scoop it back into your container, as I just did. And it looks like I covered everything. It looks like I've got everything off. Um, so now what I want to do is I'm going to peel my transfer off and I'm going to go nice and slow because I don't want to distort my transfer in case it's sticking a little extra. And look how good this looks. And that way if I missed any spots like right there, I see I did. Go. 
perfect. That's the other reason why you want to pull slow. So if there's any spots you missed, you can kind of go back and touch up, which there's some very minor spots I seem to have missed, which I'm not too concerned about, to be completely honest with you, because I could totally pull them off as being able to be covered up. No biggie. It would be if it was like a giant spot, okay? And we look pretty good here. Now, what I like about it is, oh, what's funny is that you can see the shadow of my, that's the shadow of my camera here. Ha <laughs> ha, it's not a strip. What you're seeing is actually, this is the phone cord, so it's not really anything, but I like that it's nice and subtle in the back. Sorry, had a reminder going off. Um, I'm actually really glad that I use that color because I think the idea that I have is really gonna look good now because the grateful kind of blends into the colors. Oh wow, we have a lot of people that came in. Sorry guys, um, hi Bern, hi Christy, hi Sabrina, hi Melissa. What is your base, wood canvas? It is a canvas that I just painted, with spray paint actually. Hi Jamie, hi Karen, hi Sharon, good evening. Hi Linda, did you paint the canvas gray? Yes I did, yes I did. Hi Kathy, hi Katie, hi Paige, hi Terry, hi Mona. Wow, guys, if you would all share my video, I'd be very appreciative. We have a lot of people in here tonight. Thanks for joining me. So what I'm going to do, hi, Vicki, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to hit this with some heat, okay? So I'm just going to use my heat tool, okay? And I'm just going to spray this up. It's a very old embossing gun that I got. Um, if anybody wants a link to a newer gun, that's a lot more quiet. <laughs> I'll put a link down below. Just comment and let me know. This is perfect to help dry the chalk paste because once it's dry, we can rub our hands all over it. Okay? See? Okay, so we know we're good here. Now, what we're going to do is... Where are my colors? Oh, I already took them out. Okay. So now we're going to use the new Periwinkle and the new Nantucket over this, okay? Let's get the lid on elephant. Someone needs to remind me that I need to order more elephant gray. Okay, hi Marie, hi Susan, hi Lana. Yes, I love the tone on too, Jenny. I mean, uh, Linda. Hi, Jenny. Okay, so... This transfer I have used a million times already. I already put back on the back of it. And I love that I'm able to show you guys the versatility of these transfers. It's not one and done. We're going to be able to keep using these over and over and over again, okay? So now I kind of want to be somewhat centered, but not really. Like, I want to make sure Grateful is not going to get caught up, but in the same sense it's kind of going to. Okay, so hopefully that is going to be centered enough. I think that'll look good. I think that's going to look great. Hi, Wendy. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> yeah, Jenny, I need a reminder. Can someone remind me, please? Can someone remind a girl? Okay, so let me tell you something. I didn't peel this off. Brand is laughing at something. He's going crazy in there. Um... Do you see how this is new now? All of our colors were reformulated, okay? So if you see the word new on your chalk paste colors that you get, that means you no longer have to wax our awesome magnetic boards before you use the new chalk paste because the reformulated chalk paste doesn't have to go onto a wax metallic board. So you don't have to wax. If you join my team and you get the kit, or if you purchase from me and you purchase a metallic board, or not a metallic board, I'm saying that wrong, a magnetic board, good God. And if you purchase our magnetic board, um, you no longer have to wait the 24 hours for your wax. How awesome is that? So also listen. I want you guys to listen to what it sounds like when you stir the new chalk paste, because you want to make sure you're getting all that sound. It kind of sounds like Rice Krispies. You hear it? Okay. That is all of the new chalk paste, how it's settled. We just got to stir it up. So stir real deep in the corners of your container. Okay. Make sure you get all of that around and you're going to get be left with this gorgeous consistency. Do you see this? Okay. 
Alrighty. So we've got this all mixed up. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the lighter color. So the being for what we have makes what we have in the periwinkle. And I think the Nantucket is gonna be my bang, grateful and enough colors. That's what I think I'm gonna do. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna use, I wanna do the bigger area first to hurry up and get that done and out of the way. And then the smaller area, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that last. So, Let's go ahead and get this stirred up and ready though. Okay, oh. sniffing the chalk paste, it smells so good. Okay, alrighty. So we're all good to go. Now what I'm gonna do is clean my squeegee really quickly because I want to be able to use it so I can move quickly. Hi Trish, hi Heidi, hi Bob, hi Jen, hi Margie. Hi, Wendy. Wow, a lot of people in here. I didn't expect so many people to be in right now. It's awesome, guys. Thanks for joining me. So um, if you are just joining, if you would, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you'd share my video. My store is, hi, Kay. My store is in the bottom um, in the comments. It's the pinned comment below. Thank you, Margie. I tried to do like a tone-on-tone -tone type thing, so now I'm going to pop the colors out with the uh, Periwinkle and the um, the new Nantucket, since that's probably my new favorite color. Okay, so let's just get some color down, okay? And we're gonna, we, a little bit of chalk paste goes a long way, guys. It seriously does, okay? So, hi, Chris. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get this down on our words the for what the being for what we have makes what we have is going to all be the periwinkle and i just want to be super careful that i don't go along and go off on my canvas because i'm sure it will come off do i feel like doing that right now nope i want to just keep on <laughs> moving okay and i have so much chalk paste that i can seriously move this around Oh, I already forgot and put some over the tea. Ugh. See, that's why you got to be careful with me. Sometimes I move a little too quick. Okay. So we don't even have to. I can move the color all around. Oh, I can see I missed it up there. And get my E over here. And then I'm going to quick come in. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just put the squeegee over here. And then we're going to use this guy to just come in with the Nantucket. And I'm going to try and be a little more careful now since, you know, I didn't mean to mix my colors together. And I did. Hopefully it still looks good. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Okay. Okay, so let's just keep on going. Bob, what movie are you watching? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, we're almost done. And remember, we want to move kind of swiftly here because we don't want it to dry, right? Okay, so let's go ahead, do our peel and reveal. Let's hope that I did not let that sit too long. And I don't think I did. keep it from smearing when you're done well I let it dry first thank you Vicki yeah okay I don't touch it until it's dry uh, hi Christina he isn't listening to the show tunes tonight no not tonight he isn't 
<laughs> okay, so let me get this into some water real quick, guys. Oh, I got to step over all my power cords. My goodness. You know, with tripping, I don't need to be setting myself up like I am. All right, so hold on. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to rinse off my grateful real quick so I can get the next one in the water and get it all cleaned off real fast. Okay. Just give me a sec. And then by the time I get back there, it should be time to um it should be dry and then we can go on and do something else with this we'll look and see like i said i think there's some cute like and fun like doodle things i think in chore chart i'm gonna have to see real quick just trying to get this excess paste off of my grateful all I'm doing is using a Lysol wipe. I ran it through some water. Okay. Clean in the back. Okay. Got that one done. I'm just going to get the excess paste off my... Being grateful, transfer. Hmm. I seem to have not left enough room for this one. Let's try our best here. There we go to clean it real fast. <laughs> Bubs laughing at something. Now, if your transfer is stained, that's fine. It's just well loved is all. It will still work just fine if it has different pigment on it. It's not a big deal. What would be a problem is if you stretch it or if you distort it or if you rip it or tear it. That would be when you have an issue. Color, the pigment from a highly pigmented color being stuck on it is not an issue. Okay? Alright, I have my transfers clean and they're just kind of chilling out drying. I leave them sticky side up to dry. Oh god, I'm gonna kill myself here. Let me get my lids back on my chuck fist. Thanks, Kay. Thanks, Paige. Thanks, Heidi. I know. Well, you know what, Margie? What I was thinking is yes, the swirls from Chalk the Halls definitely look nice, but I always worry like I'm not saying that I, I'm, I'm going to say it and don't hold me to this saying this, but what if Chalk the Halls does not come back in and people want to make it? It always makes me a little leery. So I always try to do things, make things with stuff that's currently in stock because I don't ever want someone to say, oh my goodness, I want to make that. And then you guys don't have the opportunity to order for my store. So right now we don't have Chalk the Halls in. It's supposed to be coming back in. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you. Yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of how I do that. Okay, so it's so funny because it's so hard to like this area is all the camera. Um, it's the shadow of my camera, so it looks like it's the it looks like it's like a background color for the the canvas, but it's not. <laughs> I'll have to show you guys. I'll take the camera down when I'm all done. Okay, so let's think. Now that I got everything cleaned off, all my chalk paste closed, let's think. I think what I would do is maybe some, something in white, maybe. That'll be like another bright pop of color. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Shall we? Let's see. Gotta go yank out the small transfers. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's hit this with some paint first so I don't, whoo, so I don't smear it. Okay, so got that. Let's just pop this to the side for a sec. 
Oh, that looks so good, except for where I decided to drop water. Oh, you big dope. Oh, hit it with heat. Hit it with heat. Don't rub it off. There we go. Oh, all's right with the world again. Thank goodness. Okay. So let's just pop that down for a sec. And let's look and see which, <coughs> excuse me, which transfer we can use. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hi, Ginger. Hi, Laura. I might get a phone call again because sometimes it does that. When I'm on a live, it makes it ring again. So just give it one second. I have a feeling it will ring again. Maybe it won't. some feathers I think oh not the feathers we're gonna do the arrows that are in here that's what we're gonna do hi ginger I will probably leave it just as just as is to be completely honest with you Paige I'm thinking I think I think I like it just as the canvas itself you know so I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so let's do some of these fun little arrows. This is dry, right? Yep, okay, good. So I think what I'll do is maybe, maybe like an arrow above and an arrow below. That might be cool. Yeah, that will work. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. Hi, Claudia. Oh, good. Now, I've already used this before. You can see I already wrote back. Okay, it's on here a few times. And these are the ones that are very difficult. Sorry, another phone call. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down. Let's see. That looks pretty good. Now, Do I do it in white? Hi, Karen. Should I do it in white? Should I do it in... Now, see, if Grateful was above Bing and I did the two colors, the two on the ends were the Nantucket, I would do Azure for the arrows. But I don't want to have the... I mean, not Azure, the Periwinkle. I don't want to have Periwinkle on top of Periwinkle. I'm thinking maybe either Elephant or White. I'm kind of feeling white. That's what I think. I think I'm going to do white because I feel like white would help to give that pop a color. But not take away from the color I have going on in here. So I think I'm going to use white. I think that'll work just lovely. What about layering the periwinkle and the Nantucket? I could do that. But I kind of want the colors to stay solids for themselves. Hi, Luz. This is the first time I'm watching, so I'm playing catch up. Is there a cat? Oh, okay, it is. Well, I'm going to put you right in my VIP group. And you can go right. If you look, Kay, do you see the web address that says HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash Jessica.chocotour.com? You want to go there. So go right to my website and you can look at all of them. Don't, um, you can go ahead and separate it out by transfers. You could separate it out by our designer chalkboards. You could separate it out by chalk paste and then accessories. Um, you just want to remember that whatever you get, make sure you add on either an angled squeegee or a small squeegee, which two of these make a small squeegee. That's the size. I just cut them to better hold in my hand. Um, you can see all the transfers. We don't have a catalog um, because we do update 
um, our transfers a lot. So we just do everything one line. Um, but I do have specials in my VIP group, so I'll add you in there so that way you can see them. Um, plus, like I said, you can go right to my online store and take a look. It's so much fun, Kay. You'll love it. Okay, so look at how gorgeous my white is mixing. I love that they reformulated these colors in this chalk paste. It is awesome. Oh, and like I said, the chalk paste smells so good. Brand thinks I'm crazy when I sniff it. He does. But you know what? I like the way it smells. Hmm. So, there. <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and use the white I think the white's really gonna look good I really do all right so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the color across right across my transfer okay and look did you see the little amount of white I pulled out that that's why the two everyone says oh two ounce containers um two ounces goes a really long way it really does because all your excess you're scooping off and you're putting right back into your jar for next time okay just like I did just right like just right there I also got a very thin layer on this so that way I can pick it up and move it right up to the top to continue using it okay oh yeah white was the way to go I love it oh stop it now transfer you need to cooperate Alrighty, so let's go ahead, get the white on again, pull it all over just the open silk screen area. We don't need it all over the entire gray area of the transfer. Just the silk screen is what you want to cover up because that way it'll go through the silk screen and onto your canvas. And your canvas you can use blackboards chalkboards, dry erase boards, glass, plastic, tin, wood, canvas, burlap, tile, shadow box frames, um, your front glass door, which you guys, if you did not watch my video on decorating my front glass door with the leaves, oh, you're missing out because it turned out amazing. I love it. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Jess, can you add me to the... I absolutely will, Christina. How's the babies? I bet she's getting big. Hi, Luann. Oh, I didn't see the web address. My iPad is being a pain. LOL. Maybe message me when you get a minute. I absolutely will, Kay. Um, I'll even uh, put it on down in the bottom. Hi, Janice. Hi, Tina. Um, this canvas was the uh, 18 by... It's the same size as my wood. That 16 by... 18 maybe it was the bigger size that was on sale at michael's i don't really know i can measure it though i love this too i love the way that turned out okay i'm gonna um put my website in the links below in the comments below again too so that way you can see it and i'll add you and christina both to my website now let me show you Thank you, Margie. I love the way this turned out. I absolutely love this. I'm not gonna add any more. This, it will take away from it if I do, I think. So, I'm gonna move this to the side and because Kay has never seen this before, um, I'm gonna show you, show you how I clean my transfers. Now, keep in mind, I have a gigantic pan of water. We're gonna put my, gotta put the lid on your chalk paste. You don't want it to dry out, okay? Now I'm going to try and move the tray without knocking all of my chalk paste over because I don't have it all in my little holder tonight. So it's kind of all over the place on my table here. So let's just slide my water pan enough into the frame that you can see. Whoops. Okay. So I think you're going to be able to see enough of what I need to show you. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm putting it inside my water pan, and all this is, it's a chafing dish from the dollar store. You know what you use, like, when you have sternos, just because it's the bigger one, it's the water pan for the sternos. Um, just because it's big enough that it holds some of our larger transfers, okay? So all I'm doing is just putting it in the water and getting the excess paste that I can with my fingers off. 
And if I don't get it all off, it's fine because I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay, now I'm going to use my mat that I have here, my awesome mat. I love this thing. All right, and I'm going to get a Lysol wipe. And of course, they're getting to the very bottom of the barrel, so they're a little wet. So I'm going to just squeeze it a little bit to get some of the excess out. Okay, close you up, Lysol. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just run the Lysol wipe across the transfer. And remember, like I said, if it's stained, it's not a big deal. It's not going to affect anything. It's not going to affect the way that it works. Okay? It just shows that it's well loved. That's all. Oops. Yay. That is the carrier sheet that I just got all wet. So I'll just dry that real quick. Okay, now I'm just going to wipe the back side. And when I do the back side... This is the side I'm going to let it dry on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dry my mat. Okay? And I'll just let it dry here. Now, don't learn from me. Learn from my mistake here. Do not take a... Oops. Do not take a... Um, heat tool to the transfer to dry it faster. Just let it dry on its own. And like, see, it, the stick is already coming back to this. Okay, so that way it'll be sticky again for next time. I just wanted to kind of help it dry a little bit and it's already sticking to me. Um, what did I do with the carrier sheet? Let me go, make sure I dry that off. Where's the back? Okay, so see where I have back here? I'm going to put it on this side. Gonna make sure it's dry there we go and it'll be ready for when this is dry and I can put it back on there hi Veronica the baby is good getting big growing like a weed I know oh already two months oh thank you Tina are there any promotions going on right now Terry in my VIP group I have a promotion going on it's um I will add you so that way you can see it um yeah okay they are reusable over and over and over and over again hi Cheryl hi Sherry Hi, hello, Veronica. Yeah, they're reusable over and over and over again. So I wanted you to see like how easy it is to use them and then to clean them. So this is just gonna sit here and dry for a little bit. Um, my little squeegee, I'm gonna show you how I clean that. I literally just get my Lysol wipe and I clean the wet off that. I use these stirs. Um, they're just little makeup stirs. I can post links for everything in the bottom. Um, when we're done, I use these little makeup stirs just because it's so much cheaper than continuing to use little wood sticks because the wood sticks, they break, they don't clean well, you don't want to mix your colors together. Um, so, yeah, these are awesome. Okay, okay. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Belinda. All right, guys. So, for those of you who are just joining, if you would love, if you would share my video, I'd be very appreciative. Mobile device. It's the bottom left hand side of your screen. Okay. So while this is drying, I was going to show you something. Um, I don't remember what it was. Okay. So this is our angled squeegee. This thing is awesome because you could do so much with this. There's all different angles, so you can potentially do multiple colors of chalk paste all at one time. Um, clean off my mat. I think that's really it. All right, let's come back and show you guys the completed project. This should be should be nice and dry now. So we've got this. Hopefully we can see it all. And yeah, we can't. Okay, let's move this back out of the way so I can move this stuff up. And I can move this up. And I can move this up. There we go. Now we can get it all on the whole screen. So we have our tribal transfer, which is, this is the feathers, the being grateful transfer, and the gather grateful transfer set. So I think this turned out really nice. Um, it's not a Thanksgiving theme. It's more like a year round theme, the colors. Hi, Belinda, I'm just, you know, making transfer. I'm just playing with transfers and chalk base tonight. You know, my, my thing. Thank you, Sherry. 
Um, so yeah, this I used white Nantucket, periwinkle, and elephant, and I thought the elephant would be a nice contrast against my gray canvas that I painted because I wanted grateful to be seen, but I wanted this what I'm saying to also be seen. You kind of know what I mean? Like I wanted the colors to go nice together. I think the white was a very nice touch with just adding a little touch of something to this. Um, I really do love how it turned out. Um, all of the items you can find, they are all in stock, all in my online store. So if you're interested, jump in and grab them. I will add anybody that wants to be my VIP group. I believe I have Terry. Hi, Dan. I have Terry. I have Christina and I have Kay. I will add all three of you into my VIP group as soon as we end this live. Um, so you can see the specials that I have going on. I have one. I think it's a great special. It's it's an awesome one if you ask me. Um, but you can also, you know, if you don't want to go for the special, you can maybe just pick and choose some of the things I grabbed tonight. You, <laughs> I'm leaving at my phone too. <laughs> Hi, Heidi. Um, yes, I love the arrows too. I forgot how much I loved the feathers. I used them so much when I first got my kit. Oh my gosh, I went crazy with putting feathers and these little tribal pieces on everything like everything hi tina um and it's funny because i haven't used elephant in a very long time that was another one that came in my kit so it was fun to play with some of the colors that i haven't played with in a long time um and the transfers so good call for whoever yelled out feathers so oh i'm sorry i'm so tired these are the things that i did tonight this is the fun project i did on canvas all i did was spray paint it gray instead of it being white I totally could have kept it white though. Um, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comment below. And I will take a picture of this finish since you're seeing the shadow of my camera tripod and my phone wire, um, which is pretty funny. Uh, but I will get a picture for you guys and post it down below. And I will chat with you all later. So have a great night. Talk to you soon. Bye.